Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls standing over here by the chicken pen. Well, it's kind of further down that way I'm looking at all the trees that I need to cut down and originally I was going to use a manual uh, Log grab and load it to the back of a trailer I thought I had just about maybe like five trees to do but there is maybe 15 trees and I remember on no man's land. It took me forever to just get a, a tree loaded in the back of that thing um and I've been doing a lot of logging as it is already on Oceanside Forest. And I just kind of want to get to this, I don't want to say quickly, but uh, I don't want to be here for like four hours trying to get all these trees loaded uh, so we can move on to the springtime. So, auto loader. Yeah, I know. If you're looking forward to me watching me use the manual grab, yeah, I apologize, but uh, not going to happen. We got too many trees here. Um, so I'm just trying to see where our boundary line is, and apparently I can cut down uh, this one here. Wait, it did show up a little while ago. There it is. I'm trying to get as low as I can go. I'm finding a lot of trees on American Falls. I got to cut on the high side. But that's fine. Uh, then we'll clear them on up. And there's one. So also with the stumps, when it comes to stumps, uh, we're going to call in Billy once again. He's going to come over from Oceanside Forest and take care of the trees. Uh, $50 per stump, I think is a good price. Like we did on Oceanside Forest. I think that's what we've been doing here. So when I get done cutting down all the trees, I can go into my stats, see how many trees we cut down for the day, and we'll pay $50 for every stump uh, that needs to be removed. Uh, do I own these trees over here? These are not going to bring in much. I do own these trees over here. We own this land over here? Hmm. I could probably do just something with this land over here. I was going to replant some trees in the future. Uh, not to cut down or anything, but, you know, just replanting some, you know, uh, maple, elms, so on and so forth. Uh, but maybe I'll leave this bear. We might do something with it in the future. I don't know what yet, but, you know, maybe a placeable for a production building of some sorts. I have no idea. But the possibility is there. So last episode, I think, was a pretty good success. Uh, we bought ourselves a trailer, a baler, and... Uh, where are we here? That'll do. Um, and we also bought ourselves the sheep farm. And we got ourselves some uh, lambs and some goats. Uh, I did uh, go onto the test map. I did some double checking on some spawn areas. Uh, one of the spawn areas I thought was going to be for maybe the milk. Uh, that was actually where the straw goes. And what I was testing there was I wanted to make sure. Can I just give them a full bale or does it need to be chopped? You can just give them a full bale. And they will be fine. So, I don't need to uh, do any chopped straw over there. Uh, I will have to put down, if I give them straw, I'll have to give them uh, a pit for the manure to go into. Uh, this is getting a little tricky here. Alright, so I gotta go at least this high. Okay. Leaving some big stumps here over by the chicken pen. And we're going to use our FET 1000 along with the dolly to get ourselves the unloading logging trailer. Probably just get ourselves the 12 meter wide one. Uh, wait, are these are... I think these are 35. Alright, these are 35, so 12 meters. Hmm. Maybe I'll just get myself the 20 meter trailer? I have no idea. Can the 1000 handle a 20 meter trailer. I mean, it can handle the trailer for sure. I'm wondering, though, about the weight that's going to have to haul around. Uh, okay, so I can cut that one there. And once again, uh, the tree always falls the way you're cutting. I've been asked that a few times, but I always cut to the left. So, for me, the trees always fall to the left. But whichever the way the chainsaw is cutting, that's the way the tree is going to fall. So if I were to cut it this way, which is an odd way to use a chainsaw, honestly. <laughs> if you never used a chainsaw before, this would be completely uh, weird. Uh, wait, can I... Is it going to let me cut it that way? How about this way? Oh, way up there, huh? Oh, no, okay. So way down here. Maybe even the game knows that's a weird way to cut a tree. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's cut these down. Uh, I'm just going to cut the trees down first, and then we'll get the auto loader up here. And uh, depending on what trailer uh, I go with, um, then we'll come in here and cut the trees. So they will auto load. Just make the process a little bit quicker. Because I do want to get into the month of... Um, I wasn't going to say March, but it might actually be April. But if contracts come up... What am I looking for? I'm looking for the calendar. That's what I'm looking for. Because we want to plant, if I remember correctly, sorghum. That's going to be April. Sorghum is going to be April. And I think I said canola. Ooh, did I say canola? If I did, I should have been planting that last fall. Okay, so I got to recalculate that. Um, what am I looking for? Pigs. Uh, sorghum. Uh, wheat we planted. Uh, protein. So wait, I can plant... So corn will count as protein and base food. Uh, yeah, canola, sunflowers, uh, soybeans. I mean, I, I don't really want to feed pigs soybeans because the yield is small, but the value of soybeans is pretty high. So we may do some corn. May do some corn. Uh, I forgot. Do I own that tree? I do not own that tree. Get away from that tree. But we'll figure it out in the springtime. But one, one crop we're definitely going to be planting is sorghum. Now we can get kind of low on this tree here. So all these trees that are in front of me, uh, the pine and spruce trees are what's going. Uh, what are these called? Yeah, these are pine. And these are the spruce trees, if I remember correctly. Yep. So all the pine and spruce trees are coming down. Even the ones over there, we own all those. Uh, but as for the, the elm, American elm trees, are these American elm? American elm. Uh, those will be staying up, and if there's any maple trees or anything like that, those will be staying up as well. But the pine and spruce trees are coming down. So, uh, I'm going to be at this just for a little bit. Shouldn't take me too long, I hope, to get these on down. Although this one's delimbing kind of difficult. Oh, because it's kind of on top of another tree. That happens. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and cut the rest of these trees on down. It's going to clear it up in here a little bit. I'll bring it back. We'll remove the stumps, and then we'll bring the auto loader up, and we'll start selling these uh, these trees. Looks like about one more tree to go, and we are all done. Uh, we got some pretty tall stumps to take care of. But like I said, that's going to be Billy's job, not ours. Uh, let's go ahead and get this last tree down. Then we'll see how many trees we actually cut down. So we know how much to pay Billy for it. So, yeah, I kind of clear... I don't want to say clear cut the area. Um, but definitely has changed the way it looked around here. I won't be putting more sheds up around here because we got plenty of sheds around the map already. And we don't have that much equipment to begin with. Uh, but like I said, this could be in the future. Maybe I'll keep the greenhouses and put the production buildings over here. I, I don't know if, uh, if we ever get that far putting down those type of production buildings. Uh, can we get a... There we go. That'll, that'll do right there. I've been cutting the trees in half as I go along now to make it a little bit easier uh, when we come back up. But yeah, that is all the trees that I want to cut. Like I said, these American elms I want to leave here. I do want to put down a couple more trees for the birds to give them a little bit more shade. Not that they really need it, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's scroll down to our stats page. Uh, trees cut down. I've cut down trees before, but in this session, 27. So $1,350 I got to pay to remove the stumps. So $1,350. Is that correct? Yeah, should be. Uh, 1,350. Remove. And then we just got to come on down here. Remove stumps. And all those big, tall stumps that were there. Those would be a real pain to get rid of. I mean, I guess I could use a tree devour mod, uh, which I do have. 
Uh, I don't know if it's activated for the series, but uh, that's something we could have used. All right, so with the tree stumps gone, we need to go into the store. And this is currently what's on sale. I mean, I would be interested in this in the future, but of course, uh, we're nowhere near that. Uh, dollies, first of all. And this is not too expensive to lease. It's uh, about 500 bucks. And then we need to go to forestry. Where are they? Um, I might as well just get the 20 meter long one. Just to, just to be sure I get the trees on. Because 12 meter to lease that is, we'll say, 2,000. And this to lease is, well, it's almost $800 more. Too late. <laughs> we already leased it. Uh, okay, now let's get on down to the store. The 1,000 is already down there, ready to go. And there is our baler that we purchased at the end of last episode. That was kind of a uh, surprise buy, but that, you know, came up for sale. So we couldn't pass that up. So I pretty much got to get about four, maybe five thousand dollars worth of trees sold to get our money back on getting rid of the stumps and leasing all this equipment. Shit on my beacons on. Ooh, can I get out of here with this 20 meter long trailer? I think it's gonna No, it didn't collide with the fence. Alright. We snuck out of there. One of these days that train's going to get me, but right now, not today. So another thing I asked about or mentioned last episode was this pile of grass that we got that's in the road. And a couple of suggestions came in, and both of them just completely slipped my mind about the grass. Uh, the first comment that I saw was, use a wind drawer, which, yes, is tr that's true. Um, I would have to use a wide wind drawer, I think, to get the grass. Basically, what the wind drawer does is, as long as the center of the wind drawer is on your land, the outskirts of the wind drawer would pick that grass up and get rid of it. Uh, but the cheaper way is the Landscape Anywhere mod, and I do believe I got that activated. So if we come into here, and anytime you landscape, if there's stuff on the ground, uh, that should delete it. Uh, can I do that? Do I not have that activated? How about if I... There we go. So quickly I just smooth out the ground and all that material that was on top disappeared. Just like that. Perfect. Grass be gone. Because that was annoying. Uh, to me at least. Alright, let's head on down and we'll grab these logs. We're going to be making a few trips, I'm sure. It's not the amount of trees I cut in Oceanside Forest. Which, by the way, if you saw... I believe that was last episode. My recordings, I... I bulk recorded some Oceanside Forest videos, so I think that went out yesterday. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes, it did go out yesterday, I'm sure. Uh, you will have noticed, if you haven't seen it yet, plug your ears. Uh, but yeah, that series will be coming to an end probably next week. Uh, we just got to do one more year. We reached our goal of harvesting our 1.8 million liters of grain per season. Uh, we hit almost 1.9 million liters harvested in yesterday's episode. So now we just got to do it one more year to get our last chicken pen or chicken slash duck pen up to 2,000 birds. And then uh, we're all set. Challenge completed. So nearly 8,000 uh, trees cut. Uh, 1.8 million liters of grain each year harvested. Easy peasy, nice and easy. Not really easy peasy, but uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have made it. Uh, I do have an idea for my next series after that. The map, I have not picked out yet. Uh, but it definitely will have something to do with the new vegetables as well. It will have at least be able to allow us to do the veggies. Alright, so what I need to do is come in here. Uh, unfold the forks. Perfect. Uh, I want to max this out to 20 meters. And right now it's switching uh, or loading on the left. So whatever it doesn't pick up, I probably got to cut the trees down. Not not cut them down, but cut them down to size. So you're not picking up. So let's go ahead and cut you like right there. There now that one loaded. So 
go ahead and get rid of the helper HUD. You gonna tell me that one's longer than 20 meters? And that one's longer than 20 meters? And that one's longer than 20... Are all these trees longer than 20 meters? Uh, that one's 23. Alright. So let's cut it somewhere like right about there. That one's 23. Alright, so we'll cut that one like right about there. That one's 25, so we'll cut that one in half somewhere. Got so used to Oceanside Forest to where our tree harvester was cutting the lengths for us. This is why I got rid of the stumps first of all, because driving through here with the stumps would be a pain. Uh, kind of watch out for the birds. Yeah, they're all right. They're fine. Always got to have that one log that's got to flip right on over. This might be good enough to make a trip on down. So now the fun begins of... Um, are the logs going to stay there? Are they going to rattle around? Are they going to try to explode? Is my trailer going to tip on over? I'm not going to bother overloading it too much. Learn my lesson on Oceanside Forest on that. Although a lot of times I still overloaded it. Just because it was the amount of trips I'm making. Here, probably just one more trip will do it. Just trying to take it around corners slowly. Because not only um, is the hitch point on the 1000 lower than it would be on a truck. We got it on a dolly as well. So this will give us a good amount of money I'm hoping for. First off, I mean the first 5000 we earn from these logs is pretty much uh, offsetting the cost of cutting down the stumps and leasing the equipment that we have. And then anything after that is kind of a bonus because I do want to replant some trees down there. Now the thing is I don't know if I want to do the hand planting and let the trees grow or just buy the trees uh, at the height that we want and plant them that way. Fingers crossed that we get, I don't know how much money I'm going to get out of this. Eight grand? Can I get eight grand off of these logs? you think I would know how much logs go for, but on, like on Oceanside Forest, we were bringing the logs to a sawmill to make other materials. So selling logs straight up is something I haven't done that much of. Uh, nope, nope, nope. That's the wrong sell point. Um, I think we would be better if I actually go around instead of trying to squeeze through that gate. Hold on, now we got to squeeze. I thought this gate was a little bit wider. Maybe it is. I think the trailer's going to rub. Maybe it's not, but I did climb the fence with the fence. Alright, and that trigger for the logs is... I don't know why, but it should be over here. Somewhere. Thought I saw it come up for a second. Is it not here? Is it not there? Alright. I thought it was over here. Uh, interactive zone marker is on. Yeah, sell wood. I just wasn't close enough. Okay, wow, 20 grand. 20 grand. Perfect. Alright, I'll leave the zone markers on because 
Uh, it's not over at the door. So, let's go back and we'll grab the rest of the logs. And if I make another 20 grand, that is definitely worth it. So, I'll see you back at the chicken slash duck pen. And we'll pick up the rain, re yeah, remainder of the logs. And I already fed the birds this morning, so they should be good. There are currently no contracts. And I just got to double check on the sheep and the goats to make sure they're fine. They should be. They should have plenty of water, plenty of food. And we'll probably skip to February, feed the birds, skip to March, feed the birds. And uh, we should have a whole bunch of contracts coming up. And if they are good ones, of course, we'll have to go ahead and do them because uh, we got to start saving up some more money. And then I'll have a look around. Uh, I don't think corn can be planted until April. Yeah, I think April. So um, we'll see if there's any corn that gets planted. And maybe we'll target those fields to per you know, possibly purchase in the future. As I did clip the trailer on the corner there. Luckily, this is a lease trailer, so don't have to worry about it. Just trying to keep a bird's eye view. <laughs> bird's eye view. Uh, of the logs. So I can make sure I get them all. Kind of hard to see in this vegetation that we got going here. Should be able to get all the logs on one more trip, I think. Although these logs can be pretty beefy here. But I mean, if I get another 20 grand and have to make another trip, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, let's drive over this log. I said drive over to this log. Okay, it works with the winter wolf, but not so much here. Uh, am I on that log? No, we can we can definitely lift that up. Not gonna auto load? Did you load? I think you just loaded. And let me spin around here in this farmer's field. Do a 270 turn. Are we going to pick up any more or are these too long? Uh, this lock here should... Yeah, it's only 15 meters. Why is that one not loading? Oh, there we go. Uh, this one here... Yep, this one here needs to be cut somewhere in the middle. I took one, took them both, perfect. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. Getting myself into a corner, which I don't like because trying to back out with a dolly, not no good for me, not no good. Me no good with uh, dolly trailers trying to back up. Now my guess is it thinks I'm full. So it turned off. We are, we are not full. And you're still not picking it up. There we go. Uh, I think that's... That's all she wrote. Let me go ahead and strap those in. Which is good and a bad thing to do with an auto-loading logging trailer. Nope, I got more logs over here. The reason why it's not a good idea to strap them in because the logs try to shift. One more. Can, you, can we grab that one more? Why aren't we grabbing that? that I think that's the last one. It's only 11 meters long. Oh, there's a limb on it. There's a tiny little limb on it. Did you see it? Now nah, it took it. Alright, this is uh this is not great. Um well I mean the load of logs I got is great. But as for <laughs> trying to get down to the cell point, this might be tricky. Just take another quick look, but I think I got most of them. I'll be happy. I mean if I there's one or two small ones there I can't see. Um that's fine. 
we are pretty much full anyways. Okay, now let, let me rephrase that. We are full. Let's see, this farmer doesn't have any crop in this field. At least it does not look like it. So if I get another 20 grand, that'll get us up to $75,000. So if everything goes well, I'll see you down at the sell point. I'm going to take my time and uh, <laughs> try to get there. Um, yeah, no surprise there. Well, after getting up right back at the farm, we made it on down here. Let's see if the logs explode out of here when I un unleash them. And eh, not too much. That wasn't bad at all. All right, let's go over and sell these logs. Even better. $34,000 for that load, getting us up to 91000 Definitely worth selling those logs. Uh, let's go ahead and return these items. And actually, you know what? Uh, I'll be a nice guy. Bring them right back to the store. I got to go there anyways because our Fent Baylor is sitting there that we purchased. So we are down here. Might as well make our trips count. And we can bring that back to the farm. Park it on up because we do need to make some straw bales. Which we can do because we will have uh, wheat to harvest this year. Not so much with the sorghum. Uh, as for my third crop now, <laughs> I was going to plant canola, but for some reason I either forgot about it, or I pretty much forgot about it, to plant it in the fall. Um, or I had a third crop in mind, which I don't remember what it was at this point. Uh, dollies, uh, actually, no, let's not return that yet. Let's return this. And then return the dolly. And while we're here, we'll just double check on... Uh, the birds, I just fed them. They're fine. And we got plenty of water. Uh, food, we're fine on. And their health is at 100%. So it's just a matter of time before they mature. Now, as for the goats uh, giving us milk, I think it's going to be just like the cows. Probably have to wait until they're mature. And also, prob uh, I, I'm probably getting mixed up with seasons in 19. May have to wait until they have offspring as well. I don't remember how that works. And Even though I just kind of did it in... Uh, hinterland with the cows um, yeah I think we gotta wait until they have offspring I'm trying to remember that I can't remember. I don't know but don't expect any milk from the cow uh, the cows yeah uh, the goats for a while I don't think I mean I haven't tested out the goats myself for the enhanced animal mod yet but they should give us some milk in the distant future so um, yeah being January uh, nothing else left to do here no contracts uh, we got all the wood sold. I think all the wood sold. So it's just a matter of uh, getting to another farming season, which starts in March. So I will bring it back if something interesting comes up for interesting comes up for sale in the store. Um, with only ninety one thousand, can't be too much there. I can't think of anything anything off the top of my head that we desperately need. Or I will see you when it comes time to do some farm work. Going from February into the month of March, we should be getting some contracts. Farming season should be upon us. And I'm waking up at 7 just to get any contracts that might be lingering around. Uh, fertilizing contracts, let's grab that. 17000 before it disappears. Uh, some sewing contracts. Uh, we don't have our drill, so not too interested in doing that. And they're not that well paying um, as they slowly disappear. <laughs> so I think... Um, Oh, I'm about to find out. This is the field I'm aiming for, I think. Field number 38 uh, to buy first thing this year. Uh, because it was one I was eyeing up last season as well. 115% expected yield potential. And the cost is 273000 274 just about. So being at almost 100000 we are almost there. Uh, but we can see they had just planted... What did you guys just plant? They just planted rye. Why? <laughs> I want corn. <laughs> yeah, corn. I, I think I said corn should be next month in April as well. 
So, yeah. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. As for the store, some interesting things have come up for sale in the store. Um, there was a wind drawer. I kind of moaned and groaned about, but uh, not a wind drawer. Sorry, a tether. Uh, passed on that. Uh, stone picker we don't need. Uh, this is a nice mower, but that does not windrow. Uh, not windrow. Put it into a swath. Um, so I'm definitely looking for a mower that puts into a swath. And that's a potato harvester. Yeah, that, that picks up the potatoes. Uh, we will have another way of doing it if we do intend to get to that on this series here. Uh, I need to feed the birds before I forget. So let's go ahead and do that. Because every month they need to be fed. Uh, the 1,000 is already over here. Because currently, my Landini and my Voltra are over at the sheep farm. All right, so we're full, which is good. Then go one month. I fed them in the afternoon, so that's why they didn't take as much. Uh, let's jump over to the sheep farm to see what's going on over here. So, yeah, we do got some wool. Uh, this spot right here, which I was wondering on, this is where the straw goes. And, of course, we know where the, the hay goes or their feed. Uh, we should probably give them and top them off a little bit. So, these are what now? Three months old? I think it's been three months uh yeah three months old they're all three months i think uh let's go over to where we buy them at and we can see better stats on them here uh so they'll be adults at eight months so another five more months so it's march so april may june july august sometime around august maybe september uh they'll be full grown and uh we'll take care of them but, well, we'll see uh, what happens then. If the goats start producing milk right away or what. Uh, let's grab the vulture here. And we'll just top off their feed. And I'm thinking... Do I leave this here? I'll probably bring the Landini back to the pig farm. I yeah, didn't take all that and I'll use that to fertilize that field unless a plowing contract comes up then of course I need to lean well I can use the 1000 for the plowing contract I suppose but you're better off using the tractors that you can get by with because uh, the 1000 is going to burn through a lot more fuel let me just check the contracts because uh, sometimes they take a second to cycle through yeah without well, one the only one being there we're field 47 that's up in this corner I do believe yeah, it's that one right there. You know, I'll, I'll just bring back the Vulture for that. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to have plenty of uh, fertilizing contracts to do. And the sheep and lambs and the goats should be fine for a little bit. Um, let me just go ahead and top them off with some water while I'm thinking about it. Oh, and speaking of water, uh, all right, the greenhouses are probably good for like about another month or so. So we'll head on out, and I'm going to go ahead and fertilize field number 47. As for our own fields, uh, yeah, like I said, I got to double check on, is there anything I want to plant this month? So what we got to plant this month? We got oats, uh, some flowers. Well, I don't have a header for the combine for sunflower so i definitely know i'm going to be planting sorghum uh what else can i plant next month and use a drill i guess i could plant oats next month oats don't help us out at all except for making flour i suppose and yeah i mean rye would be this month but i don't think rye is anything our animals will take Yeah, corn goes a long way. I mean, I don't want to feed the corn to the chickens. But maybe... Well, if I do sorghum, corn... Uh, corn is just going to count for two of them, which is kind of weird. So maybe I just wait and plant corn with a planter. And, and instead of planting sorghum, because I would only... We got wheat... 
we got sorry we got wheat for the chickens already planted so if I do plant corn I really wouldn't have to plant sorghum well it looks like this farm owner has some decisions to make until next episode what to plant in the other field but we won't be planting until April um, maybe I'll just plant like uh, barley or something like that or, or maybe another field of wheat no because I got enough wheat I'm just thinking about uh, bringing a whole bunch of crop down to the grain mill to make flour again because I got three fields of plant or sorry two fields of plant we already got one in I can't plant wheat because that's got that's in the fall uh, yeah I'll think about it but anyways I'm going to bring this back <laughs> to the farm get the fertilizer spreader and get that contract done that'll get us up to almost like 110 grand right there uh, but we'll keep on saving up and possibly buy that field I showed you a little bit earlier for 275 later in the season uh, not much I can do with that crop other than to sell the crop straight up uh, but maybe I'll do some more searching around and maybe by the time we you know the fields come ready for harvest in the in the late summer Maybe we'll have a lot more money, and I'll buy another field that's better fitting for us. Um, and also can have a very good yield. But today we sold some logs, got a whole bunch of money back uh, from our winter spending. So what do we get, like $50,000 for selling the wood somewhere around there? That is not too bad. Uh, that's a good amount of income to bring in for the winter months when you're not doing much. But now with the seasons here, again, uh, we can get to doing some more contracts off camera or doing some more farming but yeah next episode will probably be in the month of april and we'll be planting i'm thinking corn will lease a planter i mean i got at least a drill or a planter either way so maybe i'll do corn and sunflower Ooh, i just sunflower sunflower where does he sunflower all right sunflower for protein so corn and sunflower is going to be the same because if I'm going to plant corn, i got to harvest the corn with a corn header, so might as well do it with... Yeah, I... Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to be switching my mind quite a bit, so I'll do that. I'll do that in between episodes. That's going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. I'll catch you again right here in American Falls, but until then, have a good one.